Hello everyone, this is Sarah Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the um, Green Moon Money Reading for the Libra. It's going to be a five card money reading that I'm going to do. It's going to look at your current financial situation, Libra, um, as well as will money be coming into uh, the Libra's life very soon. Um, any money opportunities that you uh, Libras may want to consider more closely. <clears throat> Um, who or what project will bring in more in more money and your final card, which is the outcome. So I'm just going to shuffle some more. All right, so card number one, Libra, is your current financial foundation, and you got the Magician. So the Magician is all about using the energies of air, fire, water, and earth to manifest the things that you want. So this card is saying that you definitely do have the potential. Um, this is a major arcana card. So, um, this means that some major stuff is happening. Okay, just give me one second. I'm sorry. So, you got a total of three major arcanas, Libra. The first one being the Magician. <clears throat> um, this is a really positive card. Um, th again, this is you taking what you know from the universe and making higher and better use of your power. So this is you using your energy for positive use, okay? Um, this is showing an improvement in your work-life career, Libra, and also money should be on the upswing. So right now your money's on the upswing, okay? Even if there's no feasible way for this to happen, um, something is going on that's going to allow you um, more money, okay? Um, card number two which is will money be coming into your life very soon and i did get the nine of swords so unfortunately this card is saying that there's not going to be because there's some fear that is blocking it there's going to be some spirits okay these spirits are going to be things that are going to come from within you um this is the swords is all about mental perception the growth of your mental perception so the nine of swords is about this paranoia depression and grief and mental anguish so you can't manifest with those so to say that money's going to come in very soon i can't say that okay i would say that things should in should pick up uh or or get better but i mean this is about you not being able to sleep at night something is causing you to um worry about money and when you worry about money you cannot manifest it if you're worried about other stuff that you shouldn't be worried about, you cannot manifest money, okay? If you are worrying about your love life or your sex life, okay, well, is that person involved with you on the same page when it comes to your financial security? And I think that, that you know, the staying up, you know, the anxiety, um, there's a couple of spirits that I do see around you, um, and it's causing some issues so i would say that not very soon but the magician card was very promising the three i'm sorry the third card that you got uh, in the third position is money opportunities that the libra needs to consider and you got the three of wands so this is all about collaboration expansion growth um you want to make sure that you're able to work well with others I mean, it doesn't matter what business that you're in. Eventually, you're going to have to work with somebody. So this is about a fresh start, a partnership. So you're going to be offered some sort of partnership to make money. Um, I do see this is happening. So there's going to be some sort of new project or idea 
you um, shouldn't delay in accepting it. You need to accept it right away because the opportunity is not going to come around too often for you. Um, this should have already happened. I get the sense that this partnership was offered to you last month or towards the beginning of this month and you're thinking about it, but you need to quit sitting on it. This is about expansion. So this is a pretty good, pretty cool card when it comes to money. Um, if you do go ahead and take this opportunity, things are going to increase. The three is about increase. The Three of Wands is also making sure that you bring your integrity and your morals into the into the scenario. Um, make sure that you're working with ethics, and then things are going to look up financially for you. So your fourth your fourth card is what project will bring in more money, and you did get the Wheel of Fortune. So this could mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. <laughs> Again, this is why it's a general reading. So the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana. And what the Wheel of Fortune is, is about life cycles. Okay? So there's, there's going to be a turnaround. You know, sort of a new direction. Okay? Um, give me a second, guys. in the middle of work okay thank you so much I'll give you a call back okay thanks boy all right sorry about that guys I apologize for that um so anyway the will of fortune so what opportunities um well I would say that there's a lot of different opportunities it's just a change of luck this is a card of good luck and positive things being foretold so this is a change, a new direction in your life, okay? Um, it's, so it's definitely going to be something different than what you have been doing when I see the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> um, the Wheel of Fortune does mean that if you embrace this change, it's going to bring about some positive changes. But you got to watch your karma. Because anything that you do could totally throw everything off balance. So in the financial sense, the Wheel of Fortune is generally a good omen for anyone who has been having a rough time financially. It means that the circumstances are likely to change. So if you, you know, um, have not been doing good financially, it's going to turn around for you. And if you have been doing good financially, it's still a good positive card. It doesn't mean that things are going to get bad for you, um, especially with this last card. You dig in another major arcana, Libra, which is the chariot. And the chariot is all about doing the right thing. So, again, this is about karma. This is about manifestation. Um, you get back what you put out there. Okay? So, it's important for you to pay attention to the energy that you use. Okay? This is a lot of energy that you're going to have to work with, but you can't use it for anything. It has to be a directed, controlled, and has a goal in mind. So the energy that you have, you need to take advantage of it and to use it for money manifestation and also to think about your karma, okay? Um, if you want a more personalized reading, Libra, check out my website. Is it? it is in the video description box. Make sure that you subscribe and that you also uh, thumbs up this video. And I'll see you guys for your next reading. And I also wish you abundance and blessings. Bye.